Hello guys, welcome to WTF Japan. You can subscribe. Any comments help me. I read all your comments. Thank people who have been commenting on my YouTube videos. It really helps with the views and just support in general. I will get back to you and reply to you. I love reading your comments and subscribe. So you guys really been bang your balls and ask me for more Bojin Xiao candies. You know, I said it revived and you guys are immediately subscribing to me like crazy. I gain seven subscribers in a day after I post it, it's revived. So I see you guys banging on your balls and I will deliver. So first I thought I need to do a lot of research and uh, find like find floss some candy out of the teeth because you know Bojin has been around for a while. Well I didn't need to look very far. It's candies are still at places, you know. Go ahead and watch the revival videos if you haven't watched. And recently I've noticed that this has been out for a while. This like Street Dancing 5 photo, Wang Yi Bo is the start of the um basically the season. And I, I've noticed I I think nobody else like think it was a little strange, but you know, me being crazy. And I was like, oh, wait a second, this is very different from his usual color palette. I don't see him in red and black and white very much, you know. And I was like, oh, am I reading too much into this? You know, a lot of street dancers and rappers are Sichuanese. And I feel like red and white and black is a very Sichuanese color. It's like the, uh, the pepper, the chili pepper, which is red and, you know, and red and white usually goes really well together. And also like black is a little bit like pandas, also a little bit like chili pepper sometimes. It's like, you know, I, I really see this color theme in Southwestern China a lot. Um, and then I was like, well, is this like a hip hop theme? Like if you look at this, he's like wearing like cherry pink, millennial pink. And this is not very, um, you know, this is not very like, Hip hop at all, actually. I think we expect to have darker themes. I did notice his bell says L O E W E or something like that. It's actually a brand. I'll, I'll talk about it. So, so I looked up, and but then the first thing that caught my eye, okay, I was like, huh. Oh, at first, I saw the the shirt says love, but it turns out it just says the brand name. So I got super way too excited. And then I noticed he was wearing a red heart. And I noticed when this first was filmed, it was maybe, and when it was released, it was actually right after the Chinese Valentine's Day. So there are three Chinese Valentine's Day. This is your regular Valentine's Day. There's also 520, which sounds like 520, in Chinese, I love you. And then there's 77. So July 7th is actually yet another holiday um, that's dedicated to love. It's uh, a folklore about a couple that are prevented from being together by the heavenly gods and then they get to meet once a year for this special occasion. Okay, I know I'm reading too much into it, so so we're not going to talk about that, okay? But it, it just coincides with that time. So then I, I was like, this color is not Wang Yibo's normal color palette. It's not Didi's normal color palette. You know, he's a bluish guy. He does all kinds of cool stuff. And then I noticed, okay, maybe all the cool guys like Hua Chen Yu, like Zhang Yixing, like Jackson, they all wear this hard pearl necklace, right? Yeah, but it's not red. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, since he has multiple stuff from this brand, maybe it's in that brand. Nope. I, I look up the brand for you guys. Let's see. Yeah, they have a little red stuff, but no necklace. They have like some weird patchy stuff. No necklace. It's a designer brand underneath um, LV, actually. it's uh, LV is a massive group. L LV, Hennessy, Moe, Shodong. And it owns everything from LV to Gucci and Tiffany now, I think. So it was just saying, you, if you want to buy this necklace, it's kind of unique. You have to order it from the internet. There is no brand name. I don't think people have said the brand name. Maybe it's this one. Who knows? I'll look it up. Kev, kev. Um, so then I was like, oh, like, do you guys remember this? Like somebody designed this weird heart. And people have turned around and says this heart is actually B. If you look at it this way, if you turn it, see if I can turn it. 
So if you turn it this way, it actually says "bo." It's a very weird design. Xiao Zhang has the most unique design ever, right? And then, but we do know that, like, actually, uh, black, red, and white is this color palette. Look, and it has this hand. You can see it as the mole. And if you look at the mole, I know this is stretching really far. But once Wang Yibo on the show, he drew this heart with a mole, and the whole show was supposed to demonstrate. How well the product works by erasing this, and when he was, before he drew the mole, he hesitated. After he drew the mole, he um, 舍不得消掉它 He was hesitant to erase it. And then I look at the heart. It's like, oh, it's a very Xiao Zhen thing. It really does it a lot. And once Wang Yibo recently seemed to have added this onto his board, his skateboard, and you can see like. Um, people have noticed that、like, Xiao Zhan has this mole underneath his lip, and one, once Wang Yibo drew the portrait for him. Anyway, so black, red, and white. Not only the red heart is very unique; it's a very specific color, very bright. It's almost like showing you. It's like Do you know this. Do you know this? I'm wearing a heart, and I really can't think of reasons why guys in Asia would wear these kind of hearts. It's very unusual, right? Especially for hip hop. If you Google Wang Yibo's normal color palette, you will never see this. And then you see these guys. Even the previous Wang Yibo, these are real brand stuff. So you you don't really see that either. And these are branded necklaces. So so who helped Wang Yibo chose this super like I'm in love, I'm happily in love color palette like so. Different from anything. If you look at the subsequent episodes, I think he was wearing completely different color palettes. So what is he trying to show here? Anyway, I'm trying not to read too much into it, but it's a little hard not to notice. And here is even more insane. Oops! If you notice, let's see if I can zoom in.、Uh, <laughs> you know how like at the end of this like show, and、uh, at the end of this like.、Uh, Straight dance show. He always has. They sometimes have like a BTS, like behind the scene, eat hot pot together. His um, his dipping sauce is pepper, cilantro, Chinese cilantro, and garlic. For me, that is just the Sichuanese style, and he wasn't this style before. We talk about this. He was supposed to be ma jiang, like sesame style. And he made some pretty crazy gesture. If you haven't seen this, you'll see. Um, remember previously, and still he doesn't know how to make food, right? He is bad at making food. But I would like to remind you during Tian Tian Xiang Shang Day Day Up, he and his TV show invited a Sichuanese chef to teach him how to make mouth watering chicken. It is a hard dish. Like I made it for. My dates before, and they love it. I make it for my family. It's a big deal. Like we love that dish, but it's hard to make. It takes a lot of skill. And this certain chef wasn't even nice to him. And he was making the chicken. He just didn't even care what the guy has to say. And the chicken looked good in the end. I don't know if the chef chef has helped, but I think it's not by coincidence. One of the people at Day Day Up actually married a Chongqing person. So pretty sure. Anyway, I, again, I'm trying not to read too into it. So, but、uh, what can I say? When I look around, it's just not that hard to find stuff. And if you notice, Xiao Zhan really has weird designs. Okay, like Xiao Zhan's design at initially is someone who did a little bit of stuff before. I'm like, I don't know if I like what he drew. You know, it's not the best, but I do think he's. Designs are very clever. Like this one, he has a mooncake, has a pig. First, you don't notice, but then he has a heart. That's really really cute. Very unique. I think Xiao Zhan is like once you see his design, you're not gonna forget about it because it's so unique. I don't think anyone else have come up with this. And there's also a, oh yeah, heart with a mouth. And and also. Um, there is a Chao Pai, like a popular brand with a heart design with a little like weird eye too, like a like a googly eye, but not really. It's like a more like a 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's a very popular brand. So, so I felt like you know, someone picked this not so well known necklace. They're not monetizing it. Oh, and I checked; it is not in the 赞助商 It's not in the advertisement either. So I just felt like, hey, why why do that? Why make it such a big deal?、Uh, I just don't see Chinese guys with that color palette very often. So just my two cents. Just my two cents. And、last but not least, Xiao Zhan made a video about Zhongqiu Jie, which is Mid Autumn Day, which is coming up, and he added in lotus root to hapa. It's a very common ingredient. It's it's a delicious ingredient, but it has nothing to do with Mid Autumn Festival. Except Mid Autumn Festival is a time that you miss your family, that you wish to spend time with your family and your loved ones. It can be a small family, it can be a big family. So very interesting. Uh, lotus, as we know, lotus root appeared in the Jiang faction in Meng. And Shi Jie makes very good a、uh, Lian Ao Tai Gu Tan. So lotus root soup. So interesting choice of ingredients. Just not what I think when I associate with Mid Autumn Day. I would have associated with、um, mooncakes,、uh, rabbits, bunnies, all this stuff. But inter- interesting, interesting.